name is Kate. I am a high school math teacher at the beginning of my 18th year. Today I thought that I would take you guys along for a day in my life. Today is Tuesday, October 22nd. Not a super crazy special, uh, you know, special day. Just thought I'd take you along to see just a typical day. Um, so my schedule today, I have my plan period, first period today. And during that period, I actually have um, a staff meeting. So this is a new school that I'm at this year and it appears the way that they do their staff meetings or faculty meetings rather than having a before or after school is during your plan period. So whoever does those, meetings is doing them four different times. Um, so, you know, I like it because you're not giving up after school or having to stay later, come early, but then you're giving up your plan period. So, you know, we'll see 50-50 how I like these. Um, so we have that. So hopefully it doesn't take the full 90 minute plan period. I know the last one that we had last month was talking about our PSAT day and another test that we were giving. So it definitely took the majority of the time. Hopefully this one doesn't take as long. So I have that first period and then I have two blocks of college algebra and then my last class of the day is pre-calculus. My college algebra kids are finishing up their chapter one units. We broke it up into two. We tested over the first half already and we're finishing up the second half. And so today we are going to be looking at using linear equations or using equations in story problems, real world type of problems. And then we're going to review finding distance and midpoint. And then when I see the next class, we're gonna review the finding equations of lines parallel perpendicular. So everything in this first chapter of college algebra is just a review of algebra one, algebra two. And my pre-calculus kids are kind of in the middle of their second chapter and we're gonna be doing operations and compositions of functions today. I haven't solidified their stuff yet. My plan is this morning, so it's about 7.15. Technically don't need to be here till eight. So my plan is this morning to finalize exactly what I'm gonna do with that class. I have the notes done. I just need to figure out what homework assignment I wanna give them, whether I want them to have a color by number activity, a maze or um, a mystery type activity or whether I want them just to do something out of the book. They tend to like those worksheets a little bit better and I don't blame them. I think that they're more fun too. So I do have a couple of students that are coming in in just a little bit to make up quizzes. So I'm going to run upstairs to our math office so that I can get some things copied that I need for this morning and then I'm going to come back down to um, my shared classroom where I told my students that I would meet them. So I'm going to get off of here, get some things done, and I will chat with you guys in a little bit. we know at the high school level being called out in front of your peers is huge even your best kid is going to challenge you because you feel like I have to be the teacher and I have to take that control and the student is going to feel like well, shoot these are my peers that I got to go hang out with afterwards and if I look like a big you know what I just got done with our faculty meeting. It lasted about 45 minutes, so not bad. So I still have some time on my plan period, which is great because I do have to get stuff done. Um, sorry, out of breath from the trek from where that was to the office. So anyway, um, the meeting, it was a lot about with our student services and disciplines. So we took a look at our data from referrals that we've had so far. So that was kind of cool to look at just to see, you know, how many referrals we've had, the breakdown of what type of referral it was and the breakdown of the grade and the day. So it was kind of cool. But anyway, I'm going to work on getting stuff done and I'll chat with you guys later. Number two, this is the one that we struggled that struggled with a little bit more on our last warm up. So what are we going to do to solve this one? Or to simplify, sorry. Multiply by the conjugate, good. So when we multiply by the conjugate, so multiply, now we're gonna have our parentheses. What is the conjugate for this problem? Three plus four I, perfect. Multiplying both the top and the bottom, numerator, denominator by three plus four i. And then lots of practice distributing. From so here then, what are we gonna do? We gotta do two different things. So what's one of the things we're gonna do? Okay, 
Okay, so take care of the I squared. So this right here and this right here. So what does I squared equal? Negative one, good. So this one is the same as eight times negative one. This is the same as negative 16 times negative one. Okay, so that's one of the things that we're gonna do. What's the other thing that we're gonna do? Combine our like terms, perfect. So. At the start of class, my students have these slides up on the board um, and it just lets them know kind of the most important information, the do now, those are the tasks that they need to do as soon as they come in or at least once the bell rings. Still trying to get them to do those in order because they tend to pick up the homework or the warm up and just start doing that. So still trying to get them to work on those in order. I do have the today, so just what we're doing today so that they know kind of these are the topics that we're covering. I do have upcoming dates, so I've got their quiz up there and when I know their test, I'll add that. And then I always put a meme of the day. And that one's definitely one of my students came in today and was like, oh my God, that's so me today. So I love putting a meme up there. Sometimes they find them funny. Um, this is the first year I've ever had my kids say, hey, can you explain that meme to me? Not this one, but other ones. So it's definitely been a lot of fun to have these up on the board for the kids. It's lunchtime now, so I've had one full college algebra class and about 30 minutes of my second college algebra class. They have lunch and then they come back for an hour. So um, yeah, just gonna enjoy a little bit of lunch. So I brought a salad today. I love this container, a Bentgo container for my salad. It has everything, including a fork on the top. So when you open it, it's got a compartment where you can keep a lot of things. There is a container here um, for salad dressing. I bring a whole big old bottle so I don't worry about that um, and then the salad is underneath so if this is something you're interested I will leave a link um, my Amazon affiliate link in the description it is an affiliate link Oops, sorry. which means that I do make a small commission off of that it doesn't cost you anything extra and anything that I do make from my Amazon affiliate links or any of my affiliate links in the description goes right back into my channel or to my classroom and it is greatly appreciated so I'm gonna go ahead and eat lunch and listen to a story I'm listening to one of them by TJ Newman, um, worst case scenario, I believe it is. He's also written Falling and I think Drowning. Pretty good books. Um, has to do with planes and, you know, disasters and stuff. And it's, it's pretty good. So I'm going to listen to that and I will chat with you guys later. So that takes care of really all the numbers that are in the problem. There were just two numbers in there. But there's still more that I need to label on this picture. What else do you think I should label? Yeah, a question mark someplace, right? Something that I'm trying to find, so a question mark. What else might it have? An X, right? So usually our picture will have, hey, here's the question mark, this is what we're trying to find, or an X showing this is what I don't know. So as we read this, what is it that we're looking for? The dimensions of the planted area, which is the garden. So we're looking for this length of our garden here, and we're looking for this length of our garden here. What do we know about those two lengths? They're equal to each other because it is a square. Um, you're kind of on the right track. So I heard three feet bigger than the red one. Not quite, but we're getting there. Ready? Okay, so how would I show six feet bigger than X? X plus six. Okay, so this side, possibly X plus six. So I want you guys to talk with your team real quick and figure out where did Eddie get that X plus six from? So today we're gonna have a little fun. Okay, maybe not. We're gonna work with functions though. Functions are fun. I mean, right there, fun. That's fun, so they have to be fun. So most of the time we're going to see it written as F plus G of X, but that means that I'm gonna take my F of X function and add that to my G of X function. So when we take a look at our first one, F plus G of X. So which two functions out of the big list of five are we going to be using? F and G. So for this first example, we know we're going to be using these two functions to answer the question. 
All right, so I'm hiding out in the back room at the end of the day, school is over. I do have a couple kids that are gonna come in and make up a test. And um, yeah, that's it. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you stuck around through the whole thing, thank you. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in following along more with my journey as I teach at a new school for year 18, please subscribe. I do upload videos every Friday, but you can hit that notification bell to be notified the next time a video goes live. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.